Hello everybody, this is a video on how to go boating on the cheap. Pretty cool. 25 horse Johnson, not sure what year it is, 78, 90 year earlier. I've already taken the power head off it. It's been sitting in the uh, grass for years and years. The fuel pump went out. The guy didn't use it, so he gave it to me when I purchased two goats. So I pretty much got it for free. All right, already took this Honda motor off this old pressure washer. The uh, pump was, uh, I guess it had water in it, was frozen. My buddy gave it to me, so I got the Honda motor for free. It's a GCV 160. It's been sitting outside, but it runs great after I rebuilt the carburetor. Um, so anyway, it runs good, but it's like a constant speed. So I may have to mess around with the carburetor to get to idle. Uh, not sure. Anyway, but I'm going to be putting that motor on that uh, lower unit. Okay, so I brought the lower unit here. I'm going to try and mock up that, uh, get it to line up. I'm not sure I want to orientate the motor if it tips up. I don't want uh, to tip it where this oil from the crankcase is going into the cylinder, so I may kind of turn it sideways. So it may not be totally straight. I'd really like to have the muffler sticking backwards as well, so I'm not hearing it while I'm driving. Have the, the muffler side. While editing this video, I get tired of hearing myself talk, so I fast forward a bunch of this. Too small, I went too big. That's right. You can cut twice. And the shaft's pretty much lined up. Looks like. And so now I'll cut that one to size. Now that I know that I like where it is, I'll mark this other hole and drill it. And uh, again, get a good start. All right, I think I've got it lined up fairly well. I've got that tight bolted down. I've got this bolted, so it's bolted to the lower. The motor is just sitting on there. I am gonna have to make an L bracket or something for that bolt point. I was thinking I'd use three, but it's so close. I wish I would cut that longer. So there's the side. And that's where that one will bolt. This one's a little close to the edge, but there's plenty to bolt to there. I think that'll work. Uh, I'll wait to drill the holes till I get my coupler so I can see exactly how it's going to land. I think I've got it pretty good. So, until next time, when we get it bolted together, without the clamp, that's what it'll look like. I think that's the orientation. And talk to you later. My wife's home. Okay. Couplings came in. Half inch. Whoops. Half inch coupling. Fits right on here. It's nice and tight fit I can just tap it on but I do have to come up with a a keyway it's tight enough I could probably just tap it on and and weld right there I mean I don't know why that wouldn't work if I can't make a keyway the motor 
has a keyway on it already, so I should be able to just install this on the shaft. I'm assuming. All right, a little more tapping without the phone in my hand, it went right on. Okay, coupler fits great. It's all bolted on. And uh, now just to drill the motor mount bolts and we can test it. Woohoo! I did have to grind a little bit of case on that far side. I don't know if you can see where I, right in the center there. I ground some of the case because the coupler had a little bit of interference. Attached and working. Seven to eight miles an hour. Pretty cool. Okay, so the boat went seven miles an hour. The pitch on the prop is probably too much. I watched a bunch of videos and I thought, well, I will make a template and just mark where I think it should go which is this first line and this line and then I thought well to play it safe I'll make a line half that much and I already cut all the leading edges half that much and I'm working on cutting this edge I've already cut that one this one I haven't touched yet so it's pretty flat that way and I figured since it's too much pitch, if I take some of that off, that'll relieve some of that last lip. And then what I figured I'd do is when I do this edge, I'll, when I uh, smooth this out, I'll do this side and I'll take it off this side to make this front edge the right thickness. And that will give it a little less pitch. And then we'll see, because the motor was probably turning about half the RPM it could have. Okay, I'm done rough grinding it. I've done it about halfway. I've got it pretty even. I think I will get my get my uh, sander out now instead of the grinder and smooth out all my rough stuff. I've blended it. And I will sand it, get it nice and smooth. Go! All right, we changed the prop. We got a little more RPM. I can actually move the governor and get some more. And we got nine miles an hour. Top end, same weight. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, I enjoyed making it, and uh, since this is my first post, uh, I don't know if you want to subscribe or something. I don't know if I'll do this again, but uh, I've made some stuff before. I, I can do some more videos. Uh, it'll just depend how well it's liked. Thank you again. Bye.